This is Dr. Todd Fladen of the Fladen Eye Center discussing the Dewey Vaco Emulsification Tip. You will notice that the tip at its edge has a rounded margin for greater safety. The tip diameter is 0.7 millimeters as opposed to 0.9 millimeters. I will now demonstrate the use of the Dewey fake emulsification tip for routine fake emulsification. A capsulotomy has been performed facilitated with Vision Blue. You'll notice the clear sleeve on the um, fake emulsification tip. This allows for better visualization. A vertical groove is performed The lens emulsifies nicely. This is a three, grade three nuclear sclerotic cataract, which is being fake, emulsifi fake emulsified with the dewy tip. An initial vertical groove will be made, and then the lens will be rotated 90 degrees. This is the traditional divide and conquer technique. Psychodialysis spatula is placed through the paracentesis and then the lens is now rotated 90 degrees. Fake emulsification is continued with the dewy tip. The second group is made. You can easily see that the lens nucleus is easily emulsified with the dewy tip. The fact that the tip is rounded will make it much safer in the second part of this procedure. The cyclodialysis spatula then rotates the lens a second time of 90 degrees and the third groove is then performed with the Dewey fake emulsification tip by MST. This is being done under topical anesthesia. The patient simply has topical anesthetic drops. Mild sedation using Versed and or fentanyl is used. The patient enjoys the experience as the visual colors are quite breathtaking. The lens now being rotated its last time with the cyclodalsis spatula through the paracentesis on the left side and the dewy tip is now nicely fake emulsifying the lens nucleus. Now that the groove is completed, viscoelastic, specifically alcon viscoat is injected through the corneal wound, which is three millimeters, in order to not only protect the corneal endothelium and maintain the anterior chamber, but also facilitate What we're now seeing is the cracking of the lens nucleus into four quadrants. A nucleus lens cracker is being used for this procedure. Equal distribution of force to the right and to the left facilitates the cracking of the lens without rupture of the posterior capsule. The lens can be rotated either with the cyclodialysis spatula, as you see now, or one can simply use the lens cracker. The goal is to crack the lens into four quadrants because it is difficult at this point to see 
the groove that was previously made viscoelastic visco is being used to remove the lens cortex from the groove and now the third crack is made. The lens is then rotated one final time and the last crack is made. Having the lens fractured into four segments facilitates the removal of these quadrants by fake emulsification. This is the second stage of the fake emulsification technique of divide and conquer. This film will only demonstrate the fake emulsification portion of the procedure, cortical cleanup, and lens interocular lens implantation will not be demonstrated in this video. The tubing is rotated such that the irrigation is flowing away from the corneal surface. An Alcon 2000 legacy system is being used for this procedure. Torsional fake emulsification will be performed once the initial fragment is emulsified and prolapsed as this is now into the anterior chamber. The torsional mode is now activated. One can see that the lens nucleus is easily fake emulsified. Again, the cyclodosis spatula facilitates rotation of the lens and will also be used to protect the posterior capsule from touching the dewy tip. The fact that the dewy tip is rolled rather than having a sharp edge makes this tip significantly safer than the Alcon disposable fake emulsification tip. Once the lens material has been completely fake emulsified, this will leave only the cortical material to be aspirated. And once this is completed, the implant can then be inserted. This portion of the procedure is significantly safer with the Dewey tip. We're now ready for the remainder of the procedure, but this video now concludes. One last shot of the MST Dewey fake emulsification tip. Thank you.